Hi everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy day before Thanksgiving. I am going to log in over here and just make sure I can see everybody because when I flip this around, I know it'll be harder to see. Wednesday. Happy. Yay. All right. So if you're here, um, I know that it's the night before Thanksgiving and I'm sure people are busy baking or cooking or doing whatever. Uh, I'll go ahead and share the video. Um, but I'm so happy to be here and um, I'm happy that this week is a good week. We just talked to my father-in-law. He's still in the ICU, but he is doing good and um, things, are, things are looking up. So that was really good. Um, today, I want to show you a little bit about um, how to make a sampler, kind of give you some ideas. Um, samplers make beautiful gifts. And so if it's something you're thinking about for the holidays, um, I'd be happy to kind of walk you through that. Um, a few other things I wanted to mention, I can actually extend through tonight. So on the live, if you um, comment that you want to attend my stocking stuffer class, then um, I can fit you in because I'm going to place that order tonight. So if you're, um, you want to join the stocking stuffer class, you can. It is $25 for porch pickup or $33 to have it priority shipped to you. It includes um, Stays On and Stays On Ink Remover. That's our permanent ink. If you already have, hi Sharon, hi Melissa, if you already have Stays On, um, you can sub out $16 worth of product, but again, you need to let me know tonight um, because I'm going to close that um, tonight and get that shipped ASAP. So um, please, please, please let me know um, if you want to come. The stocking stuffer class, we're going to make a coaster. We're going to make a really fun photo holder. We're going to um, do a stamp a canvas bag. Um, I got the little canvas bags in. They're super cute. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, this is um, this is an old one that I had done, but this is one of the little photo holders on the tumbled stone. Um, we're going to make an ornament, um, and we're going to make a boozy hot cocoa holder. So that'll be fun. So there'll definitely be some paper stamping but also a lot of 3D projects and things that you can give as little gifts for the holidays. So yay for that. Um, I wanted to showcase, um, I did my, um, I'll flip it around actually before I showcase that, but before I kind of flip you guys, cause it's easier to see this this way. So this is one of the samplers I designed last year and it features the most wonderful time of the year. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say I got that wrong. No, most wonderful time. Yeah. So this is one of the samplers that um, I designed last year. And when I designed a sampler, and I'm gonna flip you guys around. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna flip this around, and I'm gonna kind of talk you through it. So if you've made a sampler before, let me know. Um, if you've never made one before, comment too and let me know about that too because I'm kind of curious. All right. So the way that I design my samplers is it's usually based off some really nice paper. <laughs> so there's usually like a designer series pack that I love and I'm like, okay, I want to highlight as much of this as possible. Um, so I will cut the pieces to three by three for the designer series paper. The backers are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and that makes a really nice 12 by 12 sampler. Um, when I'm doing this, I really try to, you know, decide which papers I wanna feature, right? Then I'll kind of work on like, okay, what embellishments, what stamped pieces do I want? With this um, suite, with this product medley, um, I knew like this deer paper with the gold antlers could probably stand by itself. Um, I knew that like this stars was cute, but it was going to need something in front of it. Same with the little tiny trees. Um, I found the stripes to be a lot, so I covered up a lot of them. Um, you know, this tree, these trees were a little plain, so I was able to stick a deer, you know, in front of it. And then, it, you know, sometimes just a little sentiment stamped, right, is all we need. So I'll kind of hold this up a little bit closer so that you can see each of the pieces. So we have deck the halls, we've got the deer, 
we've got this piece that has like a circle, I stamped off some pine trees, and then I actually stamped one, uh, this is actually one of the stickers from the kit, and then one of the little gold stars. Um, that is from the mug that we no longer have. It's not current, but I mean, you could get any kind of cup or mug or anything. Um, and I just thought with a candy cane, it was super cute. And then the stripes with the hope you have a wonderful Christmas, the presents, oh Christmas tree with that cute star, the deer, and then the tree. Um, the kid included this tinsel and I really wanted to wrap the tree with the tinsel. So that was fun. And then putting the little gold angel at the top that came in the die set was fun. So when you're working on a, um, you know, on a sampler, um, you've got to decide like what's your background square going to be, you know, what's this going to look like. So I told you, I showed you guys the sampler that my team put together. So this is a piece that one of my team members put together, my mother-in-law actually. And so you can see she put a lot of dazzling diamonds on here. She's got lots of, you know, embellishments, lots of little detail, you know, in, in each of these pieces. This one was fun. It's with that um, at home, home for Christmas. Um, this is the stamp set that um, benefits foster children and in vitro, uh, people seeking in vitro fertilization. So um, really cool that she's the gold in the background, lots and lots of layers right in there. So then, you know, I was looking at, I had a piece of this and I thought, hmm, you know, I wonder what I could add to it. I really like the mint macaron. So I was thinking I could add like a joy to the front of that and that would be really cute. Now each of these could kind of stand by itself, right? Because we could just literally stick one of these on a note card or a card front or something. Um, but the base layer is always going to be three, uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And it's important to have a unifying color on your bottom layer. So I was going to show you this one. So this is the piece I put together. So I used the um, Kirby Christmas paper, whose name I cannot remember, Classic Christmas. I used a piece of that and shaded, it's a shaded spruce. Um, so that's three by three. If you do three by three, then it's really efficient, right? Because you're, you know, a lot of your DSP is six by six. So that's fun. And then I knew I wanted to use the Merry Hello stamp set. So this stamp set is a hostess stamp set. You can only get it if you place a $150 order um, or you, um, you know, gather orders from friends. Um, it's really cute. I love the little stockings. These pieces fill in like the holes and the little boot piece. These trees fill in this. Um, this will stamp the base of this either with some stitching or some solid pieces. But um, I like the 2020, I think it's cute. Although it's not my favorite year. And then I love the sentiments, a merry hello, heartfelt Christmas, merry season be filled with magic, it's the best time of the year and just for you. Um, so lots of really sweet pieces. I like the holly and the little, you know, um, greenery pieces too. So really nice stamp set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few pieces and I'm going to stamp these. So, all right, we got our top to our stocking and the bottom to our stocking. Okay, good. And we're going to stamp in real red and shaded spruce which is like my new favorite green all right so i think we're gonna do real red for the cable knit stocking portion so. excellent how's everybody doing tonight are you guys cooking for thanksgiving what are you cooking anything tasty that might have been too far over well, that'll be just fine. We'll make it work. We're going very simple for Thanksgiving tomorrow. So, I got a turkey breast and some potatoes and some green beans, and that's it. Oh, and some biscuits. I did get like four different kinds of biscuits. I'm not sure what I want. 
Hawaiian rolls, crescent rolls, biscuits, Pillsbury biscuits, cornbread. I don't know. Can't decide. So it's nice because it's photopolymer, so you can see exactly, you know, where you're stamping. So then, um, because these frames usually in the scrapbook frames you have, you can have some high. Oh no, I've got ink on my hand. Uh oh. Are you guys still there? Oh, it says that I went away. Uh-oh. If you're there, comment. Tell me you're there. Um, no good. Okay. All right. Well, boogers. Okay. We might have to stamp that again. That stinks. All right. Trying again. We'll go over a little bit anyway. Yes, so for those of you who know personally, my father-in-law has been very sick lately. He was in the ICU for, he's still in the ICU for like 10 days, 11, 12 now, I think. Um, he'll be there for a little while longer, but they've gotten, they've done all the surgeries and everything they need to do. So hopefully he's just on the road to to recovery and it's just been a wild time in our house but hi linda um he has stamp so when i'm watching he did use it good um that's good also i love this stamp set i think it's super fun i'll show you a few other ideas I'm, i have a few other samples i can show you um the sentiments are really fun so um all right so we've got our little topper and we've got this and i'm not going to Put my whole hand in shaded spruce ink and then I had already stamped the little Mary hello up on here so I will get a little bit of oh apparently I stamped it twice and wasn't happy with one of those which is not surprising so, so what I thought would be really fun on this I'm actually gonna yeah I'll just glue this down all right is look like this. We don't need to see a ton of that background. So we're just bringing our little layers in and then get a dimensional and pop that guy up. I think I'll little one. Me too, Sharon, me too. It's been it's been a little wild lately. Alright, so just a little touch of gold. And then let me get my red rhinestones out. I can also use these ones. This might be fun. So these are the wonderful gems and these are the red rhinestones. I don't know. Maybe I'll use the wonderful gems on this one. As you can tell, I have a preference for these kind of gold gilded ones right I like the clear ones and I obviously have a ton of the red ones left but we can put these oh yeah in here <laughs> my nails are so long I can use them as a take a pick tool right now that's pretty funny all right So super cute, gilded. So this stamp set is actually quite easy to work with. Um, the stockings kind of build themselves. You could, um, you know, if you wanted to build like a fireplace type mantle or something, you could have a piece of wood and then you could have these, you know, coming down from there. Um, you know, you could like this string, you know, you could continue the string. So if you stamped this piece, you know, you could, you know, you could stamp it and then you could take your, you know, pen or marker or whatever, right? And you could just, you know, extend the line out, right, onto, you know, whatever your card base is. Um, so that would be really, you know, easy to do. Um, so I find this to be really cute. And then you can add the little hanger piece on this. Um, 
It's a fun set and the sentiments are really sweet. I think that everybody will enjoy playing with this with this set for sure. So, um, so I am right now, um, everybody who orders with this hostess code through today, because today is the end of the sale. Um, I had made it 8 p.m. Central, but I will I'll give you until 9 p.m. Central. But if you use this hostess code, the X3RNP32P, then you will actually get an extra 10% back through PayPal or Venmo. Like I will give you an extra 10% off. Um, and then, um, and then I will, um, I will be able to give you that 10% back. But in addition to that, I would be happy to also get another one of these stamp sets and give it away to someone. So I will draw a winner from everybody who places an order with this hostess code by 9 p.m. tonight. Um, and I will draw one person to get the Mary Hello stamp set. And then I will also, of course, still give you your 10% back. Um, because I'm trying to get a few more orders in this month. It's been, um, it's been kind of a, kind of a wild month and I definitely am fortunate that I was able to kind of step away when my father-in-law was really sick and, and that was really great. Um, and I, just a blessing to be able to have Stampin' Up, you know, and have it, you know, work for me even if I'm not currently working it. Unless I was so sad about that. I know. Boo. Um, well, Melissa, I can't wait to see what you do next year because you do beautiful work. So, um, we do that, a team sampler and it's quite pretty. I'm going to show you guys my gnome cards. I need to put them up on the blog, but we did our gnome, I did my gnome class last week and it was super fun. So if you have the gnomes, I would highly encourage you to get them out and play with them. So fun. And this one, I made a mushroom out of that red velvet paper and the whale punch is super fun. So, um, yeah, so uh, gnomes were fun. We had a good time with them. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, um, if you watched the live last week, oh yeah, and we made this cute little curvy keepsake box. Um, oh, I just threw my glue into a, a container. This, if you watched, the live last week, you probably saw that I made um, the Double Wonder class. And so I wanted to show you the finished projects from the Double Wonder. And so it made four of each of these cards, right? Um, and then, I think I can go up even higher. So I'm trying to see what my, my space, space limits are here. And then it made two of these, and it made one of these. So these are all the beautiful cards that we made last week on the Double Wonder class. So if you haven't watched it, it's on the YouTube, or you can go back here on Facebook and watch it. Um, and I also link to the Double Wonder cutting guide. Um, so I uh, would love to see what you're doing with your very, very pretty designer series paper. This paper from the Gleaming Suite is gorgeous, and so this obviously was a you know, a great choice. Um, you know, it really showcases the very, very pretty paper that we have. So, um, hopefully, you know, I gave you some hints and some tips about how to make sampler squares and pieces. You know, the measurements are pretty easy, right? Starting with that three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I usually then do a three by three piece of DSP just because it keeps all my measurements nice and tight. And then I kind of decide what I want to do, you know, after that. Um, but if you have the most wonderful time product medley, then you'll probably really like this designer series, uh, the sampler. Um, and this one has, um, old olive as the, the base piece is what I did for this. So, um, yeah, hopefully gave you guys some good ideas tonight. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming week after week. You guys are amazing. And uh, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, enjoy some time off. I hope there's some crafting in there. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.